and she says help me out and he tells her okay I will but this is what we need to do I want you to notice what the prophet does not do he doesn't write her a check I want you to notice what the prophet doesn't do he doesn't cause the bills to evaporate or her debtors to die I want you to notice what the prophet doesn't do he doesn't call the king and says could you fix this matter could you help you guys welfare problem for crying out loud she's a widow help her out he doesn't do that even though he could what he does is he asks her a question what do you have in your house and she replies a little bit of oil he said that's enough he says you're gonna go back to your house and with that little bit of oil that you do have God is going to do a miracle it's interesting that anointing many times does not create something new but it enables something that's small to become something that's great I remember uh, pastor Vladimir Montian from Ukraine he said uh, when he got married at the age of 17 and his wife left him because she was not a believer and uh, he was not a believer because at that time he was sitting in jail and he came out of jail he got saved and his wife completely left him it's been years and so now he's praying every day God give me a wife and he put a description you know the figure the the eyes the the hair everything he just told God this is this is the kind of wife I want to see and make sure she's not worse than the one that I married before he keeps praying and praying and praying I mean he had different people agree with him in prayer and God told him to go get his old wife back he says God no give me you know new one and he got the old one back she got saved and this is what he said he says I realized that God gave me a new marriage with the same spouse God is able to give you a miracle with what you already have maybe you look at that and you say yeah that that no but God when he touches it that becomes something beautiful can somebody say amen so that's what blind people when God heals blind people he doesn't give them new eyeballs he just touches the eyeballs they already have when God touches lame people he doesn't give them new legs he touches the legs that they have many times God's anointing will touch what we have and what we have sometimes is enough with God to make a difference in our life we must understand God created the world out of nothing but everything else in the world he created out of something he took dirt to make man and then he took man to make a woman and then he took man and a woman to make a child God always uses something to make something else and many times we come to God and we say God give me something something brand new out of the sky shipped by UPS and God says what do you have in your house he said no I don't have what it takes and God says if I touch it you will have what it takes Jesus took five loaves and two fish it's not enough to feed a multitude Jesus says watch when it lands in my hands it will feed the multitude and you will have enough for the next three weeks to take it to work to eat when God touches what I have what I have will become enough to meet my dreams and to fix my problems in Jesus name can somebody say amen therefore when you come to God you must not limit God in expecting always to make something new but in expecting him to touch what I already have and to bless what I already have so that will make something great and glorify his name 